Gladiators are arriving for this 24-lap race. Well, they've won here for the last two years, haven't they, with Loris Caparossi. But they've come to support this 21-year-old Australian. Casey Stoner could clinch the world title here in Japan. 24 laps of this twin ring Mategi circuit. Can Casey Stoner win the title? If he finishes in front of Valentino Rossi, who's qualified in the middle of the front row, Stoner will win the title with three rounds remaining. The lights are on red. The Grand Prix of Japan is underway. That's a false start for Anthony West on the second row of the grid. That's for sure at the back. Chris Van Newland hasn't been able to get away. So a shocking start for the Aussies. Casey Stoner, meanwhile, has done very well at the start. And he's all the way up on the inside, up into fourth spot. And could even go past Rossi. And he has done. What a start by Casey Stoner. Casey Stoner leads the way. Well, doesn't lead the way, but he leads the man. He's got to beat. He's got to beat Valentino Rossi. And he's done it. Danny Petrosa leads the way. And Stoner's going to try and get through. And into third from Nicky Hayden. Is he? No, but he goes past Elias and up into fourth. So it's Pedrosa leading from west. Then it's Hayden. Then it's Stoner. Rossi is down in sixth spot. If things stay as they are, Casey Stoner would be the world champion at the end of this race. There's 22 and a half laps remaining, though, and anything can happen. Whoa! Oh, Pedrosa and Stoner almost clash. I think it's Stoner that's gone up into second place. It has, but it doesn't really matter. Casey Stoner leads the race because Ant West has got to come in for a jump start from ninth place on the grid. At the front, Ant West comes in. He hands over the lead to Casey Stoner. This is the very worst scenario for Ant West, but in particular for Valentino Rossi. Leading now is Casey Stoner. Behind him, Marco Melandri. Then it's Danny Pedrosa in third spot. And in fourth spot, it's Valentino Rossi. Valentino Rossi has made the move and he's through on Danny Pedrosa. Valentino Rossi up into third spot and the podium positions. He goes to hunt down Melandri and Stoner, who are four seconds ahead of him at the front. Twelve and a half laps to go, turn two. Rossi is closing on the young Australian. Is anybody going to make a move on changing tyres? Mark and Melandri are doing him no justice at all at the front. But really, this is the World Championship. Look at Stoner's eyes, full of concentration. What is going through his head at the moment? Valentino Rossi is going to make the move, going to the 90 degree corner. We've seen him make errors there in the past. Not this time. Stoner go goes down to third. Rossi up into second place. Rossi goes through and takes the lead. Rossi's not coming in, but Melandri is coming into the pit. Rossi has stayed out and he's staying out longer than anyone. And he's just seen Melandri's gone in. And I'm sure, sure Stoner has to come in too if he wants a chance of winning it. For me, Melandri and Capri Rossi in the best situation at the moment. Melandri's on his way out. Stoner's on his way out. Wow, this is amazing stuff. Marco Melandri is back out there and leading the race. One and a half seconds behind, though, is Loris Capri Rossi. Stoner's right down in eighth position, whereas Rossi was in second, but it's going to take him time, surely, to get up to speed. Stoner's last lap was a 2.06 on those tyres. Oh, Rossi. Well, he's, got no, these two, he's got these two men behind him, protecting him from Casey Stoner. How long will they remain behind him? Yeah, you could see Stoner in the top of the picture as Ginter Lee goes through on Rossi for the second time this year. Remember, he did it earlier on in the season at Le Mans. Rossi runs in very wide in the 90-degree corner. Now, having a look at the front end of his bike, has he got problems with that cut slick front? Rossi's in! Valentino Rossi comes into pit lane. Is this the end of the World Championship 2007 for Valentino Rossi? Casey Stoner, if he stays on board his Ducati now, he's in fourth place, fifth place, will be crowned the 2007 MotoGP World Champion. It's all over for the doctor. Wow, this is incredible stuff. Leading the way, though, it is Loris Capirossi, the man of Mategi, the master of Mategi, we've called him before. Loris Capirossi <laughs> looks frontwards. The chequered flag beckons. Loris Caparossi wins the Japanese Grand Prix here at Mategi. Casey Stoner, so, so close. He's through the victory curve. Casey Stoner looks behind him. Casey Stoner is the 2007 MotoGP World Champion.